Ah, oh, let's do this. Ah, uh, I step. Oh, thank God. I hit. Ah, uh, I step over to the rapidly going up piles of pile of, pile of clothes to take Hanukkah in my arms. Her skin, warm and tender, gets mine. I have to burp. Shouldn't we wait until we get into the bathroom? It's it's not Hanukkah's words of a long, deep kiss. Ah, she resists for a moment, but soon, but soon she is kissing me back with equal ferocity. As we part, she gently bites my lower lip, stretching it a little before releasing it. I used a brief would pause to would pause to free myself from my strained pants. Oh no. A moment later and either my pants or my raging memory will suffer irreparable damage. <laughs> Hanako fumbles around in a dim afternoon light, desperately trying to find a small box that caused such embarrassment such a long time ago. Packets of snacks fly across through my sheet which use a colored, colored box. So, uh, how do we I don't think there's much to it, you just put it on. I think. Well let's see you let's weigh our options. You can have that. Or you can have the pill. I feel like for the first couple times, you should take both. Right? And then if you feel comfortable, or you feel ready enough, uh, stop using, just only use the pill. I think. I feel like that should be. Maybe we just go with both. Doesn't, doesn't mean it's long as it protects you. Whatever. Hako tears open the box in and of his panic, sending little folded package across the room. Oops. R relax. My quivering voice probably doesn't have the calming effect that I had hoped. I attempt to help Hanako search, but watching her kneeling naked body squirming on the floor is far more appealing. The light is better now than it was yesterday, and I can clearly see the differences in the grafted and original skin. Just as she said last night, the majority of the scarring is on her back, with only the upper outside of her right thigh showing any damage. Her entire left leg is like China, incredibly pale and smooth. When concealing clothes for most of her life must have protected her skin from the ravages of the sun. Um, that's not a good thing to see. Um, what's going on? I need to fix this. Cause, yeah, I need to fix this. I'll be right back. All right, never mind. It's supposed to do this, I guess. She gasped a little, but I said, wait. I can watch no longer. So, so I kneel down, flipping Hanukkah onto her back as I do. She gasped a little, but I set set upon her like an animal in heat. Oh God! Kiss her neck was one hand seeks out the thighs that were enchanting me seconds ago. Son of a gun! Ah! She re re reflexively clenches her legs together around my hands, but relaxes a little as I slide my probing fingers even deeper into the tuft of her pubic hair. So, if you can probably see the top, why is she grabbing her hair? A, I don't think that would help, and B, that would probably hurt a lot more. That's, that's just me, though. I'm a guy, I don't have long hair, and nobody has that long of a hair in real life, I'm pretty sure. My fingers feel a warm wetness, and I push forward. Again, she gasps slightly as my fingers massage her insides. He, he, he saw. Why the fuck do you have to zoom in to make mo this work more hard on me? I kiss down her neck to her chest, feeling the texture change as I move from the grafted skin to the natural skin of her. I rub a private a little. This time, oh, I forgot to tell you. This time, I'm manning up and I'm actually looking. By looking, I mean I'm just reading. I'm trying to do my best. Uh, uh, well, her private's a little harder, softly bite her. Uh, nipple. So we saw something that the light squeal from a girl bend beneath me. <laughs> Sorry, my world flips over and I find myself looking at the ceiling. Somehow, Hanukkah's managed to flip me over and it's now straddling my stomach. Her pubic hair tickles my skin and she bends over me, sucking on my neck and then biting my earlobe. Payback for the nipple, I guess. Ah! I mean... I hate this. <laughs> Part of my corner. <laughs> I see that. Uh, I mean, it. I mean, I really want to know what the original creators, what the original creators had for pictures for these. I really want to know what they were, because these are just random people who pick, made these pictures. Last time I read. Anyway, after a brief last second, she reels back up, flicking her hair away from her face with the same motion. Both of her dark eyes are fixed on mine, and for a moment, all we can do is stare at each other. I. I guess it's time. Shuffling on her knees, Hanukkah slides herself over my react erection, picks up a foil packet from the floor, and tears it open. I don't think. Too late. The robber circle slips straight out of the packet and lands amongst the scattered clothing snacks. Hanukkah panics and tries to pick up the certain word, but that only causes it to slip out of her grasp once again. Scoff a little at the hilarity of the image. So can we change the image, please, then? Second girl, Hanukkah was lost in a flurry of, you know that. That sucks, but now she's back to her usual embarrassed self. D don't laugh, it's slippery. 
Ah, uh, God, Jesus Christ is alive. What the heck? Why don't they change the picture? Alright, I think that's the point here. I retrieve a fresh packet from the floor and take out the rubber, placing it on the head of my... Why the fuck do you got me saying that? I'm not saying it. C-O-C-K. There you go. C can I? Eh, uh, I guess. Hanako uses down the fingers wrapping around my... D-I-C-K and I'm rolling the latex over its shaft. I go blade as it rolls and applies a little pressure along my entire length. The experience is over in a second and Hanako wastes no time in positioning herself over me. My shaft is still in her hands so she wheels herself over me. I've really got to sneeze. I'm... I'm doing it. She lowers herself, guiding me into her with her hand. <laughs> How is it? It feels different, but good. She falls onto my chest, wrapping her arms around my neck and burying my face in her... Uh, chest. Totally, that's totally what it says. In response, I rock my hips forward and upwards. Inside the latex, I feel slightly different, but Hanako's warmth still envelops me. With each thrust, Hanako rolls her own hips in the mind, driving us ever closer together. I reach around her body and grab her butt, pulling her in further still. Her arms tighten, driving my face deeper into her chest. Breathing becomes gasping, which becomes sub-vocal, screaming. Ha! Ah! <laughs> He's so... <laughs> I can't say that! I'm not doing it! Sweat beads on my brow, only to be wiped away by chest. And I find myself digging my fingers into the soft skin of Hanako's behind. With the extra grip, I dress forward with all the force I can muster, and Hanako loses all ability to make words. He ha ha! Nope. What? Hanako? Hanako, are you alright? <laughs> I thought I saw him coming in. Didn't you just lock the door? Hanako and I freeze, and we hear Lily frantically turn the locked door handle. The door rattles for a second, and then stops. Lily's voice is gone, and we breathe a sigh of relief. Um, should we keep going? Hanako briefly beyond speed, simply rocks herself forward onto me. Both so close, and the close call of Lily has both our hearts racing. At this point, I was like, I don't care. That's way too close. We're stopping right now. Nervous energy fills us, and we both speed up after uh, staying wide. I can hear Hanako trying her hardest not to make a sound, but the wet thwacking of our deed is hard to mask. Wow. He so I... I'm... It, me too. Just a little. My muscles tense, my hands grab over just so tight, and we both move just a little faster. He so I'm... I'm... J j just... Hanako's arms grip me like a bear, and she squeezes me between her legs. C coming I'm pretty sure you spelled that wrong, but whatever. Hanako... I think as a girl digging her hunker's butt and my back, my back edges into her body that I lose control. She had a hot mass of, wow. Semen full up around me and kind of a slightly unnerving feeling to say the least. I got one question. Oh, Jesus Christ, just show it. Oh, no, that's disgusting. I pull out of Hanukkah quickly and remove the youth rubber, which is now covered in all manner of bodily fluids. Ew. Hanukkah rolls off me and lies down beside me. That was, wow. Yeah, but I think I need to wash up. I carry the used condom between two fingers and open the door to the bathroom. Oh! <laughs> I step through the door without looking and almost trip over Lily. L Lily? <laughs> He's out, but what are you doing here? No, my force is cracking. <laughs> Lily tries to stand up rapidly and almost falls over in the process. When I reach out to help her but pull back at the last second. It's hard enough to explain this as it is, let alone if I were to cover her and Hanako and Hanako's and my juices. She quickly writes herself, but she can't hide the embarrassment that is written across her face. Are you alright? I heard some strange noises and I thought that Hanako might be in trouble. She had a difficult last night, so I felt obliged to check on her and I had seen her as far as something was amiss. The front door was locked, so I tried to make an entry to the bathroom. But now I will have to have no problem. Good night. <laughs> my voice cracked doing that whole thing. She, she poured a Hanako on us! How dare her! She poured a Hanako on us! What? She poured a Hanako on us! God damn it, my voice! Stop it! No, 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 no. What music is this? No. Hokabi. Oh, that's right, I have this. Lily, too embarrassed to stay in our company, bows quickly and then retreats back into her room throughout the bathroom. In order to prevent further mishaps, I flush the car and start to shower. I rinse myself off of the sweat and change place to Hanako, who does the same. We dry ourselves in silence. Hanako changes to pajamas and I redress. But what I feel like an hour, we just look at each other sheepishly. A number of times, one of us goes to speak, but no words come out. Both of us are too embarrassed to move, so we just sit uncomfortably. Eventually, a small knock on the door, followed by a whisper. Um, you so? Hanako? I have made some tea. Would you like to join me? Why did I do it like that? As it's commanded by Lily's words, Hanako and I sheepishly get up and open the door. I am done with this episode. Goodbye.
Yo, what's up, losers? Way right back at you with the more Tower Shoujo. Anyway, just Lily, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I should be the one to apologize, I was the one invading your privacy. But we... You were doing what lovers do. Though, after a close call like last night, is this really wise? See, Lily Smart, she did invade the privacy and she doesn't care. That's what people in love do. She good on her. Because I believe the same thing, I don't care. Because I'm just doing what lovers do. Just do it, I don't care. But the nurse said... You asked the nurse if it was okay? Well, not really, but I think he knew. So last night too? I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I suspected that fainting was too much of a reaction to a long walk. Pretty sure that's what anybody would say. But anyway, Lily shakes her head as if trying to get herself back on track. Come now, the tea is getting cold. I managed to read that just... in time. Anyway, the three of us sit around Lily's small table, sipping our tea in uncomfortable silence. Hard upon I still wearing embarrassed faces, but Lily seems almost pleased at the situation. I guess I was wrong about you two, though. Eh? What do you mean? They smile wide a little, like someone remembering their childhood. When you and Hanako first met, I thought there was a good chance to help her make something more than a friend. But after the festival and that picnic, I thought she wasn't interested in you in that kind of way. So I just let things be, forcing these issues never really work. I don't get what you mean. You wanted to set us up? Well, nothing so blatant. I merely wanted to push you two together. It seems like I didn't have to do anything. But I think you did in a way. If you didn't get sick, I don't think Hanukkah and I would've ended up together. I don't think so either. And you're still our friend, so long as you're okay with that. I might, of course, I'm overjoyed to see Hanukkah happy. She's had a rough time when she first arrived, I thought she would never open up to anyone. It took about two months before she would even talk to me. Really, but you're like best friends! Lily was always so nice to me, I was just a little afraid at the beginning. I get it's hard to move into a new school, especially one like this. I still can't believe that I met everyone here so quickly. New places are always a good basis for new friendships. And it's normal to make a lot of friends in a place like this, where everyone is the same because they are different. I open my mouth to reply, but my words are blocked by a long-reaching yawn. Oh, sorry. It's quite alright. I can imagine that you would be exhausted. Yeah, and I didn't get a bit of study done. The exams, I forgot. I pat on the head. Tell you what, tomorrow night, we're studying together. Sound good? Uh, okay. Aw, oh, that smile. I just wanted to protect that smile. You will never go away. I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. I'm not turning into a creeper. No. Calm yourself. I'm good. My, my, this sounds interesting. It's not like that. We need to study. We're in the same classes, so it makes sense, right? Right? Honestly, it's not like that. Very well, I'll take your word for it. Uh, Lily is such a troll. Now, however, I think you should return to your room before you cause any more distress. Good night, Hisao. I stand up and Hanko springs to her feet. G good night, Hisao. She leans forward, almost dripping over Lily's table in the process. She kisses me gently on the cheek, a grin spreading from ear to ear. I... I'll see you in class tomorrow. Night, Hanako. Hisao? Hmm? I love you. Love you too. Night. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, what? Act 5, Elucidation. Oh, there's an extra act. Oh, I didn't have this in the original game. Oh, for the full release of the game. What a weekend. After leaving Lily through my practically first straight sleep without setting my alarm, if it wasn't for a particularly short bird, I wouldn't have been late to class. To run to beat the bell, set my chest ablaze. Dude, today I, my, my the alarm didn't go off. I had like 15 minutes before the bell rang. Isn't that to take my pills and drink stuff and everything and eat stuff? I was rushed, dude. I can't tell you. Some people joke about giving themselves a heart attack in situations like that. It's not so funny when it's part of your reality. But that's not the point. My tongue needs neglected my morning conversation with Hanako. Now that there's only a few seconds to lunch, but I'm itching to say good morning. Amongst other things, of course. Child finishes writing the last of the exam's timetable on the the board and puts down the chalk. So, and so, ends this trimester's lessons. From now on until the end of your exams is study time. Myself and the other teachers will be available to help you. But I suppose if you have made it this far and haven't absorbed material, material, there's very little we can do for you. The bell's ring, Mutao leaves the classroom, but no one moves. The severity of its words seemed to hit me home with, seemed to hit home with more than a few students. 
ashen faces fill the room, but none more ashen than the one closest to me. Ah, oh, rest in peace, Misha. Heh, <laughs> heh. Hey, he's out. He's not serious, is he? <laughs> Man, I never thought anyone knocked the wind out of Misha's sails. She still wears her idiotic smiles, but her eyes are dead. No, worse than dead. From the nose up, Misha looks like a zombie. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, you've passed most of your tests too now, right? D my friend just said something. I need to murder him for a second. Be right away. No change. Ah, well, this is amusing in its own right. <laughs> I'm just teasing my friend about sending him some those um age scenes. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Behind the zombified Misha, she's doing a task impatiently on the desk. Misha, however, doesn't react, so I'm left facing a clearly unimpressed Shizune. I try to suggest a what to her, but no avail. Ah, uh, she shot size, pushes up her glasses and put them points behind me. Eh? Good morning, Hisao. Sorry, Hanako, sorry, I got distracted. No, it was late this morning, and yeah. Th that's okay, I wanted to speak to Misha and Shizune too. Oh my god, I got a burp. Huh? Misha snaps out of a reverie. You want to speak to us? Um, well, we're not making too much lunch for today. For today, and you and Shizune seem to talk to Hisao a lot, um... Not I. Wanted to know if you wanted to join us for lunch and study. Maybe. If you want, only if you wanted to. No. Lol. And what's that? She's asking us to come with you? Damn it, was it? Did I say food? No, a second. What the hell? <laughs> but you never talked to anyone. Oh um, well, I thought that you and Shizune might get lonely. Just no one else on the council. I thought that you said there were a lot of people on the council. There is, but there isn't. My voice keeps cracking. It's like that. <laughs> oh, I get it. I don't get it. <laughs> uh, uh, but this is big news, lunch, study. You're stupid. <laughs> but this is big news, lunch, study, count us in. Um, shouldn't you ask Shizune first? Shizune sits directly next to me, so she seems oblivious to preference. In fact, I think this is the longest that I think I've seen Misha go without signing something. What, no? Ha 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 ha! She'll pretend to say no, but she'll come along. We've seen you work in science. We need someone like you that isn't dumb at it. Misha lowers her voice. Shen will never admit it, but she's bad at science. But don't tell her I told you that. Behind Misha, a shadow rises. Tapping on the desk didn't work. Gently tapping her shoulder didn't work. In the sound of vocabulary, these are the equivalent of Excuse me and Hey Misha! Misha, however, means oblivious. The shadow went up. The field is probably the most graphic. I'm talking to you, damn it, that I've ever seen. Oh, she's doing that. You can't have to do that. Yes, I did. You weren't paying attention. Oh my god. Eh. But I was talking to his how? About what? Um. Misha mouth starts, however, her hand goes through the pre programmed movements, spilling out her, the, her thoughts directly to Shizune. I should, I should hit you again for being so insolent. Now tell me, what's going on? Oh, he's out and Hunt going to study with us. Aren't we lucky? Really? Really? Well, a contrast like duties during the exam period, so I think it's a good idea. Hey, Shi Chen, can we use the council office? I don't see why not. She's out. What do you think? Eh? I was so wrapped up in Misha's sort of dialogue, I only barely registered my name ever being mentioned. This sounds like a good idea. Yeah, sure, but lunch first. Yippee, we can do that, right? You should always study on a full stomach, right? I don't even know who's talking anymore. Well, I'm done with this episode. I need to go upload the other ones. So see.